Hello, Modern here. Today with 10 games I'm looking forward to for April 2023. Starting with Raven's Watch, a top-down ARPG-style roguelite developed by Pastech Games, the makers of Curse of the Dead Gods. Corruption spreads throughout Riverie, a world which is built on old folk tales and legends. The keyword given to us is dark fantasy. As far as gameplay goes, we are promised challenging bosses, smooth combat and a huge variety of builds to play around with. This game can be enjoyed solo or in co-op and releases on the 6th of April 2023. Undeadly releases just one day later and brings us a turn-based zombie survival game. The world, as we know it is gone and strange phenomena started to appear in conjunction with the undead. Dangerous rifts to another world are strewn across the land and wreak havoc on the planet. You control a group of survivors, based in a shelter with the option to choose their abilities, weapons and ammunition, which can also be customized and augmented to alter the gameplay. Venture out into the ruins to gather materials and defend your base at night from hordes of enemies trying to crush you. I know this one looks a bit janky, but you can try it on Steam with a demo available right now. I personally found the controls to be smooth and very XCOM-like, so I did like it. The title is set to release on the 7th of April as a single-player title. The next game is Sharkpunk Vermintfall, a mix of turn-based strategy and RPG elements set in a war-torn steampunk city. The Red Swarm has breached the walls and flooded the city with its vermin hordes. Your goal in this pixel art game is simple, survive and get as many people as possible to the fusion core operated bunkers. Rations and med packs are limited, resources are scarce and enemies plentiful. Use what you have available to unlock upgrades and craft new equipment while scavenging for what's left. This game releases as a single player title on the 13th of April. The Mage Seeker, a League of Legends story is next in line, featuring RPG style combat in the world of Runeterra. This game was developed by Digital Sun, the creators of Moonlighter and promise a compelling story to follow alongside fast paced action combat that heavily rewards those who master it. You play Silas, a spell-stealing mage who just broke free from his unjust captivity at the Mage Seeker's hands. Your weapon of choice or the change used to bind you, and the goal is to liberate the Marcia from the tyrants ruling it. This game is set to release on the 18th of April 2023 as a single-player title. Minecraft Legend is another upcoming title with an interesting concept. You are kind of an overlord-type character controlling an army of creatures. They can gather resources on your command, fight foes whenever you want them to, and they just look very cute. The gameplay is surprisingly smooth and snappy. You also have the option to make your subjects build structures for you, and running around discovering enemy bases, chests and other secrets just sounds like a lot of fun, especially since this game will feature an online co-op so it's going to be an enjoyable experience for you and your whole family. Minecraft Legends is set to release on the 18th of April. Now for some Souls-like fun. Stray Blade makes you explore another war-torn world. However, it's much more colorful than you would expect. All the destruction lies in the past, and you're set to venture into the ancient ruins of a mysterious civilization. Legends, forgotten land and stories about treasure bait you into exploring with your trusty companion, Boji. The main feature of this game is changing the world. Defeating foes will have an effect on the region. Region. Zones you have previously explored will feature progress and offer you new things to come back to. Character progression is done through skill trees for both your characters, and combat leans more into the action side of things, but will feature souls like Manix. This game is set to release on the 20th of April 2023 as a single player title. Straight Lights is the next game on this list and leans more into the action RPG genre, even to the point where I'm very hesitant to call this one a Souls-like. Contrary to the last game, you're going to explore a much darker world, rampant with dangerous creatures and corruption. You play as a being of light, set on a path to transcendence. The whole setting has a very similar vibe to Orient the Blind Forest to me. The combat is fast-paced, fluid and leans heavily into the dodge and parry system. Attacks come in fast and you have to react to each one to not get blown to pieces. Defeating enemies lets you harness their energy, which can be used to unlock new abilities and grow from a tiny little light to a beacon of radiant power. This game is set to release on the 25th of April and can be enjoyed as a single player title. Zoria Age of Shattering is a squad based tactical RPG with turn based combat, outposts and follower management. You are thrown into the medieval fantasy world of Zoria, leading a team of heroes into missions to slay monsters in lush forests, mysterious caves and majestic buildings, once a beautiful place now transformed into haunting and dreadful locations. Combat is marketed as the bread and butter of this game, featuring a huge variety of spells, skills and tools to bring destruction to enemies. But preparation for missions is key. Managing your troops equipment and vitality as they both deteriorate is at the core of this game. Your base of operation and each hero can further be upgraded and customized to unlock inaccessible places and quests. This game is single player only and will release on the 27th of 
April 2023. The next game is Crystallize, a very cute looking top down ARPG style title with hub based base building and a large explorable outer world. You are tasked with the mission of becoming the guardian deity of a special sky island, which you also have to develop. The resources for this can be found down below in the vast world. Placing special objects on the island will boost your character in a variety of ways. A fireplace for example will provide you with warmth wherever you go, enabling you to explore snow fields, and a street lamp will illuminate your way through otherwise dark caverns. Crystal Rise is set to release on the 28th of April 2023 and can be enjoyed solo or in co-op. And the last one is Roots of Pacha, an ARPG farming sim similar to Stardew Valley set in a stone age. Exploration, discovering new inventions, gathering, farming and taming animals are the core features of this game. You will venture into the wilderness to find and befriend animals, explore a deep cave system filled with mysteries and develop new tools and ideas that will reshape this primitive world. And you also get to know and romance some villagers. This game will be available in single player and co-op and launch on the 25th of April 2023. Now this sums up my list for games I'm personally looking forward to for April 2023. There are some very nice looking games here and I hope you also found something you like. If you enjoy this type of content, please make sure to leave a like, sub and comment to support me. I also make reviews, previews and guides for RPGs, MMORPGs and source like titles. If you want to support me some more, check out my Patreon, Paypal and channel membership. See you next time and bye!